welcome to issue number oh shit <laughs> 50,000 59 all right i'm going to start that over mm. no hello, why <laughs> hello hello hi well hello and welcome to issue number 59 of headline heroes a comedy podcast where we take today's headlines and create a comic book origin story my name is Drew Mick I'm Nathan Haynes. And I'm Tanner Ackerman. I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna throw my cat out of this room. She's climbing and shit right now. Give me a okay. second. God damn. <laughs> All right. You, you were laying doing nothing for like half an hour. The second I start fucking. Get out. I hate when he gets like this with Kelsey. Bye. Oh, I'm sorry, Kelsey. We're truly from the bottom of our hearts. Okay. Awkward. Sorry. Do we need yeah. to start over? No, I think that's gold right there. Fuck. <laughs> hey, Tanner. Hey, what's up? Hi, Tanner. W- welcome back. The trilogy is is complete, I guess. Again. <laughs> what? The tr- oh, sorry. Maybe you didn't. Maybe he, he said the trilogy is complete. No, I I heard him. I don't. Mm-hmm. So if we were a trilogy, which one of us would be the first movie? Which one would be the second movie? And which one would be the third movie? I think Tanner's got to be the third movie because he's he's just been introduced now. Mm-hmm, that's true. So you think or it would just go in order of introduction? I guess it would be. Oh, I'd yeah, be the middle definitely... movie that sort of drags a little bit, but really does have some great. Well, if we're it. going by the Lord of the Rings well, standard, you are the best. Yeah, in, no. In oftentimes the, the second one's the best one. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. That's fine. Like, really, I, I was, I'm fine regardless. Worse. Hey, I. You know what? What's um, Revenge of the Sith or, or the Empire Strikes Back? That one's that one's that one's, that one's, that one's good one's too. Probably my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, and that's Clone Wars. So the only trilogy the, where the third Attack one's the, the best one is Thor. That's it, right? That's true. That is true. Oh, but the, oh brother. Huh. Anyway, welcome back, Tanner. <laughs> Thank you. That We're wraps back, up Headline Heroes. Back at it. So welcome to Headline Heroes, where we'll we'll remind you what we do here eventually. But um did you uh, where where were you though? Like Where the hell were you? Yeah, what the hell? You kinda left us out to dry there. I feel like you guys don't listen. <laughs> I mm-hmm. always tell you where I'm going. Yeah. I was yeah. I was actually in your guys' neck of the woods. I was up in uh, Minnesota on vacation at uh, Kelsey's <laughs> grandparents' cabin. Pretty dumb. All right. Yeah. <laughs> also, I can't believe you're just gonna dox us like that. Just tell the world that we live in Minnesota. Ugh, and, yeah, you. that is the world's Plus, smallest there are lots state. Of docks, I assume. <laughs> mm-hmm. there's, there's a lot of lakes there. Yeah, and uh, that sounds super fun. I'm sure nothing really important happened there. Let's uh, probably just. Probably just get, boring cattle we can don't really care. The, at this, yeah. yeah, I I mean I I one thing happened, I guess, while I was there. Yeah, what was that? Yeah? All right. Mm-hmm. I uh I asked Kelsey to marry me and the dummy said yeah. Oh, dude, I'm what? sorry. Oh, sorry, you said Oh, she said yes. Yeah. Oh, she oh. said yeah. Oh I, I know. Pull out the, <laughs> Despite uh, what everyone thought. The sympathy <laughs> scotch, I guess. There's a banner, people putting up a banner that says, like, don't worry, Tanner, you'll get over it. And I'm just like, no, shit, down, down, down. down. Get the mariachi yeah. out of here. Get out, get out of here. Get the happy mariachi. <laughs> yeah. Happy mariachi. Like, I asked What's her dad for his blessing, and he said, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Wait, did you actually ask him on the trip? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. What if he had said no? Um, <laughs> I mean, I bet that wasn't a thing for you. Yeah, it definitely wasn't an actual fear, but man, I don't know. Well, finally, uh, congratulations, Tanner. This is the first time hearing of it, and I'm shocked. Um, <laughs> yeah, wow. Talk yeah, about not cool. telling us stuff. Yeah, wow, we. Uh, yeah, I was saving it for the podcast. Uh, but finally, my my dream has been realized on this podcast of uh, replicating uh, rules of engagement. This, that 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 show on on this on this podcast. We got now, are the you the guy. David Spade one? Yes. Is oh, that okay. rules of engagement? I think so. Yeah. I think it is. We got the the married guy, good old good old Nathan over here. Mm-hmm. We got the engaged guy, rule who's going to be getting all the rules of engagement. Oh. And we got the the fun the fun single guy. That yeah. show. Okay. Oh yeah. The plot of that show makes a lot more sense yeah. now. Or the name. Huh. Yeah, I yeah, guess that's, that's a good play yeah. on words. Yeah, let's see how they work the, the title. Wow, that the show lasted for kind of. a while. Seven seasons. I don't I know nothing about that show. I I, mean, I think I saw a couple episodes. I think it was all right. Like I don't think yeah, it was I think breaking I, I any boundaries, right. but yeah. Good flick. So finally, yeah. So just wanted to say that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like well, I mean guess I guess while we're going at it, we if we're talking about rules of engagement, um, this would be fun. Nate, what do you have any like some 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 words of advice, some rules of engagement for, yeah. for Tanner. Um, <clears throat> or so, Tanner, do you have any questions? Like I don't know, and then mm-hmm. I'll I'll just mediate here. Mm-hmm. Nate, it's your turn. So Tanner, you um, go, Nate. I guess the first thing I'm I'm just curious. Mm-hmm. I have actually have a question for you. Are have you started taking classes yet? Like what kind of? 
I mean, I started with Krav Maga, <laughs> but <laughs> you might want to start with something a little more basic. I guess I don't know what your experience is. Um, <laughs> ha- have you taken any classes yet? I <laughs> I thought at first you were be like talking about some like Lamaze class or something. I was like, Nate, do you uh, know what no. uh, <laughs> being engaged is? <clears throat> But no, to answer the question, uh, I've been doing uh, Capoeira. Okay, good. That's good. That is good. I would recommend, if you haven't already seen it, um, pick up the documentary Mr. and Mrs. Smith. um, Because it's a lot like that. And frankly, Tanner, I don't want you to be on the losing side. Um, I am worried about the podcast, most of all. Just because if you die, (laughs) we're going to have to make Carl do it. And like that's just a whole thing. A lot of questions to answer. Uh, so just, I just want to make sure you're at the top of your fucking game, Tanner, cause it's about to get real serious. Do I not, guess... do not let her get the upper hand. Yeah. Uh, I guess right away. I have a question. Um, do, do, right away. Are you sus- suspicious of any Mr. And Mrs. Sp- Smith level, like secrets between the two of you? I don't well, know, any? now that you mention it, I mean, like we, we've been engaged for like a week and she's already like, well, I got to go on this trip to San Diego. Um, see she you later. Do that. That, that is not a joke. Yeah. Like, she really did that. So like just a quick, did you, did you do a sweep of the house after she left? You know what I have, but not because I was looking for stuff for her because, uh, Brett Jacobson, who does the art for a show. Oh yeah. He, Brett Jacobson, who does the art for a show. Who does the art for a show. Um, yeah. he was the art guy. For our he, show. he was checking in on my cats while we were gone last week. And, he texts me. He's like, "Hey, did you see the prank I did?" <laughs> and he might just be a like terrible person and not have done anything. But I have been searching this fucking house for some sort of oh, prank. Brett, if there is actually a prank and he hasn't found it, bravo. Brett, if there isn't a prank and you said that, bravo. Oh, like, that's so good. No, that's no. some mental win, win. warfare. Oh, that's so good. Uh, who are you yelling at earlier? Was that was that Kelsey? No, that was my cat. Well, one of my cats mm. is her. Cat, look, look again. Oh God! That's it's what I'm a, saying. I think she might still be in the house. It's Jeez. literally just a crocodile. <laughs> um, do you have any questions for for me? I guess the the expert here, or or I guess for for Nathan, mm-hmm. um, on on this engagement stuff. I, mean, I defer to Drew in all matters of engagement yeah. and marriage, but I'm happy to throw my my two cents in. Mm-hmm. I guess so. What do I need to be prepared for? as getting married in the 21st century instead of like, you know, the olden days of the 20th oh, century. Well, well, Nate, do you want to take this? I, no, I, I mean, got... I want to, you, you go, I have a couple ideas, but I want you to go first. Um, just while I sort of formulate those thoughts. So there's a tradition at, um, at weddings that we've kind of gotten away from. And I think it really needs to come back. And that is uh, when you go up and you're about to say, I do, instead of saying, I do, you, you accuse her of being a witch. <laughs> And then you like dunk her in the water, and you know she drowns. She, she was innocent. Mm-hmm. She floats. She was a witch. Yeah. So now that's you... something we've gotten away from, but I think could resurface. I'll write that down. Yeah. Right, and Nate. What did what did you? Oh, I just think you should probably. Head? I mean, twenty first century. You gotta be ready to live stream the whole wedding, start to finish. Mm. Um, really, it's gonna be best that. You pay more attention. If she's walking up the aisle, you got to make sure you get those good shots. Get make sure she's in frame. Don't really bother looking at her so much. <laughs> like, look at the camera to make sure that everyone on the stream is getting all the good, the good angles. Especially as you dunk her in the water and she turns into some sort of, I don't know, smoke. What happened to a witch when you put them in water, I guess? I don't know. Oh, they melted. Okay, well, yeah, you're going to want to get that. Make sure you do use the right filters. Um, yeah, I got a guy okay. you can talk to about maybe make sure, making sure those, those, those colors really pop as she turns into uh, sort of a molten version of herself green puddle of some kind yeah molten green puddle here's a, here's okay. something fun we could do um it, what i've learned at weddings that i've gone to is it may be more important than the actual like uh making it official and whatnot is the wedding hashtag mm-hmm. and i'm oh, very right important. now we could maybe think of some yeah hit, hit me with them do you guys oh, have any ideas yeah. our names don't work well together <sighs> that yeah that kind of sucks yeah. Hashtag, t- fuck. Ooh, ha- so like hashtag. Oh she's the acker man now. <laughs> Who, hashtag who's the acker man? <laughs> now, oh, dog. oh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> ha- hashtag Tanner Tanner wedding planner. <laughs> 
Mm, I don't. I don't love that one. <laughs> that implies that's a wedding plan. Hashtag no. Bazinga, because that <laughs> those guys are so funny. <laughs> that fun, yeah. The uh, the show. I did. So I saw someone once that she she's getting married to somebody whose last name started with a D. So they said they had a hashtag their name and then gets the D. So like, mm. well, it could be Kelsey gets the A. She gets but, your ass. She, yeah, she owns your ass. I you mean, know? she is getting it. If we're you know. Ooh. But I guess that implies weird things, huh? A little bit. It, it implies mm-hmm. some stuff. What, it, what does it imply? I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. Hash, mm-hmm. Hashtag. 420 friendly. Just so everybody kind of knows at the wedding, like, Ooh. do whatever, yeah. man. You know, whatever goes. Hashtag 420 friendly. And then uh, maybe throw your names. Uh, like, I don't know. 420 friendly Tanner Kelsey. I don't know if you really want to like. Also, if I could recommend 420 as your wedding date. <laughs> the jokes aside that is actually my parents wedding anniversary <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you should do it for that um how about hashtag act that it's like a fun like smack act that, that. Yeah. act that <laughs> act that <laughs> these are all oh. gold yeah these are great um, what's, what's her last name uh worth she's she's worth it i guess i don't know yeah see i thought about something like worth it or like ackerman worth, is worth, worth it worth the way um, but then worth the wait made me think like that implies being abstinent. Yeah, that does. Um, hey, hang on real quick. I think I heard the tornado sirens going off. I got to check the oh, weather alerts. What? Oh, this is going to be a great episode if we oh, get you in the middle of the man. tornado. Fucking Nebraska giving me. Thank you, checking. Tanner. Well, thank you, Nebraska. No, I, I, well, I don't know what Omaha weather says it's 79 for. degrees out. It's 70, 79 degrees here. Um, but like it's very dark outside all of a sudden. No, I'm not any warning. So, I mean, maybe well, like a, I mean, down south they're getting sirens or something. All right. Um, there is a pollen alert, so heads up there. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Well, you keep listening to that. But um, congratulations, Tanner. We're we're very proud of you. Thank you. I guess uh, let's just get into it. Hey, Nate, can you remind Tanner what we do here since he's been gone for like a coon's Oh, age? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tanner, so you, you remember every week uh, we sort of get together on this podcast here and we uh, we scour the internet. We grab some weird and bizarre headlines or headlines that people have sent in. Uh, and we use uh, pick one at random and we use that as an origin story for a superhero or a supervillain. Now, it's been a minute. Normally, it's your job to tell us what we made last time and what we're going to make this time. So you think you can manage? Has it been too long? Uh, no, actually, I, I totally remember what we did. Oh, oh shit. That's, that's not a joke. Uh, so two weeks ago, we created a villain. Uh, do you guys even remember anything about it? I'm curious. Uh, the socks. Um, mm, wow. Sna- snake socks. Uh, Kevin McAllister. Damn, um, I remember, remember way more than I thought you would. Slip and slice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. Exactly I heard it. you say slip and slice before we started recording. But if you had not said that, I literally would have remembered. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I did say it to myself because I was reading on my sheet. Um. Yeah. So we we had created the villain Slip and Slice, who had the magic snake skin socks that could slide on any surface, and he was really good with a sword. Yeah. So that means this week we're making a hero. Oh, back at oh, it. Feels at good. Headline heroes back at it um so this week the article that i picked at random already is number eight for you guys and that headline is woman gets head stuck in exhaust pipe oh god Mm-hmm. did she die no oh boy i just She's really gotta your, uh... i gotta express the sub headline of this woman <laughs> gets head stuck in, in exhaust hey my head could probably fit in that she remembers thinking like boy that's just relatable oh it's minnesota too yeah, oh. I was just going to point that out. <laughs> Minnesota. Someplace we all hold uh, near and dear. All right. So, so there's some fumes, I guess. Or she could be running around with a big old exhaust pipe on her head. Or a whole truck. <laughs> or a whole truck on her head. <laughs> a big old truck. That truck is huge. It's a big boy. Yeah. It's a big boy. It's a big it's truck. It's got to be big to have a, a big exhaust. She's going to throw her head in it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, truck powers, exhaust powers, or whatever CO2 emission. <laughs> the, the planet's dying, everyone. So she's her power is pollution? Oh, that's... It's that's not a very com- good hero. Can she, that's can complicated, she, though. She could absorb... Maybe she can absorb it for some reason? Ooh. Through the giant exhaust on her head? 
Maybe she's maybe I mean the the, the what kind of struck me is like maybe we don't even have to have this be her like true origin story in the sense of like this is where she got her powers. Maybe mm. this is where she realizes oh. she has her powers. Where they're like, oh, you're gonna have all this chemical damage. She's dying from, from your head, and they're gonna. She's like, no, I don't feel anything. And they realize she um she took all of that the, the the emissions and and expelled it like Febreze. <laughs> it just smells so. Super good. So she, I, I'm sorry if this is crass, but does she, so she inhales the exhaust of pollution and then farts out Febreze? Well, I didn't say fart. You said fart. I know. I said sorry if this is crass. I knew I was the one jumping to the conclusion. Shit. It could be farts. <laughs> <laughs> could be. Could be farts. Could be farts. Um, ha, um, Maybe if this isn't the origin of her powers, then maybe we can talk about what would be the origin of that power and then. That, that could help. Um, um, her parents were environmental scientists. All right. And they were trying to figure out, like, one of the big things, I think, like, to try and figure out how to deal with all the CO2 that we're making currently in real life is, like, these things that just would, like, sit in the sky. Basically, like, these big things that would just absorb it all. Like, these big fans that sit in the sky and then absorb all the CO2. So maybe they were experimenting with that. Mm. And she, as a little, t- little tyke, got into it. What, did she get into the CO2? And then, or whatever it is that, like whatever chemicals they have that. Oh, or, oh, that would be fine. I mean, a not particularly hilarious origin story, but I <laughs> no, guess it could really. work. I had one idea. Tanner, yeah. go, my man. So it's it's kind of like opposite of Nate's, where I picture like she's grows up working in an auto body shop, or like just a mechanic shop, oh, constantly working no. on vehicles. I've been watching a lot of Fast and Furious, that's why I'm thinking that. And one day she slips on the chemical waste they keep in the corner and oh. s- slides right headfirst into the tailpipe of a jacked up truck. <laughs> and... well, this, this is not the first time this has happened to her. <laughs> this is also not the first time we've discussed a similar origin story. And then the combo of the chemical waste and the exhaust give her powers. Okay. Now, we need to have an honest discussion. Is This is a very cool power. Like being able to absorb pollution, the world very much needs this. Is it going to be funny? So I, the idea of her just constantly like jamming her head in tailpipes or just sucking on tailpipes is kind of funny. Yeah, that is. But but then how do we make her a good hero and not <laughs> yeah. just some crazy abomination? It could be more than just CO two and and cars. Like ozone, that's a big that's a big one. What she do with that? Just instead of inhaling that, she absorbs it in her skin i don't know i don't know how ozone works is this like could we do a thing where like i, f- I wonder if we haven't done this oh you know what? i was just about to suggest the kind of thing sort of that we did with the the fart hero from a while ago i think where she could like absorb ozone well, and make this a and then expel it manifestation yeah man. oh manifestation yeah okay what if we get rid of the pollution idea? Is there like, is there something else that we could do that's funnier with that, with that, this situation? Maybe she can control any vehicle if she shoves her head in the tailpipe. So she has to be dragged behind it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what a bad power. <laughs> what a bad power. So I don't want to. I I, I want to make sure. That we make this distinct from uh, the one that you and I Tanner, I made a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> it's too close to too many things. Oh man! Eventually, we're gonna hit a point where it's been so long since we've done like something, and we'd feel comfortable going back to it. But that is a pretty recent one. Yeah, yeah, it is. Is it? Can she? Can? Tr- is there something like anything she can like get her head into? She can control somehow. That's. I don't know what that would look like necessarily, <laughs> yeah. but I'm trying to think like as outside of the box as I can. Maybe she um, couldn't get her head out of this tailpipe. Like this is her origin. <laughs> and now she just has like a big old metal head and she's really good at headbutting people. <laughs> so like you see her like um, fighting a giant robot and she just runs up and just dives head first into it and smacks it with her head. So they cut off the exhaust. They probably cut a little hole in there. So she has a, a little face hole and then it's just good at headbutting. Yes. I, I like that. I feel like it needs something more. 
Because then there's the line. Another it's like, level to it. You can't you can't headbutt your way through all your problems. And she goes, "It's the only way I know how." And then headbutts something. <laughs> well, I liked it. I I do like it. So just... sum up for me in a sentence what her current power set is. Headbutting. <laughs> she can just headbutt really good. Like really good though. But why was her head in the truck? Uh, because well, I mean, she was eating a banana, threw the peel down like an idiot instead <laughs> of um putting it somewhere like in a garbage can, and uh, slipped on it. Fell right in. Fell fell right in. Oh, so the she head actually button. she slipped on it and went down a hill actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, because then... she was shooting her shotgun right then and it made her take a step back from the recoil and she slipped. Oh on the yeah, banana. I hate to see that. Yeah. Hmm. Can she make her headbutts more powerful somehow? Have you seen um, the uh, Iron Fist? Yes. So, so she, like, is she channeling something to make her headbutts? Is that what you're getting at? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. What the, I, okay. Full disclosure, that show sucked, so I did bad. not really watch it. But I know he can make his fist glow and punch things. So I why not make her head glow? Okay. What? What? Ga- I like that. What? What gave her this like chi? power is it the co2 um maybe me okay so like big trucks uh machine stuff who's someone that she could have seen like a vision of who's big in that big in trucks henry ford (laughs) dale Earnhardt Earnhardt jr (laughs) okay dale Earnhardt jr um comes through in a vision tells her that she has to go to nepal so she travels there and it turns out there's a bunch of nascar loving monks Oh, okay. NASCAR is a fun angle. And so maybe she's a NASCAR driver by day. Maybe. Yeah. And she wears, she has to have that exhaust thing. And they had to make a special car for her with a little bubble above the driver's roof. And so she could see out of it or so the exhaust could be up there, you know? Yeah. So NASCAR monks. Now tell me more about them. You know how monks like wear like robes. Like if you were picturing a monkey, like those orange robes. Yeah. Um, instead, they have robes with a bunch of advertisements all over them. Oh, okay. And if they need to ever take their robes off, they have like a pit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what pits sound like. Yeah, that was a pretty good impression, actually. That was, really that was good. a fan. You did good. Thanks. NASCAR monks. She was NASCAR at monks. she was at a NASCAR thing. She got real. She won the race. How about that? She won the race, and then okay. what? You know how they do all that? That champagne goes everywhere. She got a mm-hmm. little, little, little too much champagne and stuck her head in the exhaust of a big old truck. So and was it intentional? No, it was a drunk thing. But maybe it was intentional in that Dale. Yeah, I mean, like intentionally, she's drunk. It's just like, ah, uh, finally, uh, 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 someone has been chosen. <laughs> the prophecy has been completed. Yeah. So the only way she could talk to Dale Earnhardt, Dale, Dale Earnhardt, is he dead? Is he the dead one? Dale Earnhardt. Uh, his dad dead? is. Junior still alive. Okay. Yeah. That's. We awesome. should really. Ch- I mean, let's just do a quick Google. <laughs> I don't know. I could give two I mean, shits about Earnhardt's NASCAR. Deceased junior still alive. What yeah, he's Cal he's Ripken forty three. Junior. What, let's get what all the juniors junior? in here. I mean, Ken Griffey. Did you know they were the only uh, father son duo to um, have a home run in the same game? What? Went on the same team uh, that's, in the majors. That's actually pretty insane. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever happen again. No. Yeah, baseball like MLB players, I feel like are getting younger and younger. Like anytime they're above thirty, it's just like too old. <laughs> oh uh, man, we're we're almost there. Yeah, I know. Just knock, uh, knock, knocking. Um, she was she went to the exhaust, was able to talk to Dale Dale and Earhart. 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 Amelia. <laughs> Dale Earnhardt. You idiot. I don't know jack shit about. <laughs> uh, I was um, kidding. No, but I am an idiot. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> um. So is it is it Earnhardt or Earnhardt Junior? I think it's got to be Earnhardt. <laughs> See. Okay. Comes through a division. Says you have to go to Nepal or somewhere. I don't know. I I just threw out Nepal. The only way to talk to him was through the exhaust. But the unexpected consequence was that she would actually get very stuck. Mm-hmm. And she thinks it's a curse, so she goes to Nepal, and they're like, "No, this is actually a blessing. <laughs> this, you, this is your cheese channeling. Now you this have is what this. you wanted all along." Yes. Does, she, does do, I, 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 I need to ask the question: Does do we really need to keep the exhaust on her head, or is that just more for a visual thing? Uh, would more would it be more fun to do powers that are NASCAR like chi related things? I don't know. Maybe she needs it at first. 
to channel her abilities. Oh. Like it's like a totem sort of, but after okay. a while she doesn't need it anymore. So okay. she loses it. Oh, okay. Because it, like maybe there's this whole arc where a villain hits it real hard and it falls off and she thinks, Oh, I'm, I can't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. And then she has to learn like, it's, it's not the helmet. It's her. It's not, or not helmet. Yeah, it's exhaust been in this whole time. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's sort of the helmet at, at, at a point, but yes. At a point. So is it focused on headbutting in that classic NASCAR thing? I think so. Well, I think, so. I think... <sighs> yeah, I still say she's really good at headbutting, but I mean, it can yeah. be other things too. Headbutting. It's like there's, um, Batroc or Batroc the leaper who is just real good at kicking in Marvel comics. What if she's just like her fighting style is just all headbutts? Yeah. Wait. So what if she like needs to? You, because you said leaping, that made me think. Uh, if she needs to like jump over something really high, she just flings her head and it like throws her whole body up. Thor <laughs> like throwing his hammer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she like whips it around and throws it, <laughs> and gets some mad leaps. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. All right. Yep. Is that good? That's a good power. That that that's a good aspect of her power. What else can she do? Like obviously, she could probably do like the dinosaur charge of like lowering her head and can she do like a corkscrew in the air and headbutt? I think so. Um, I mean, if she can throw herself with her head, I can imagine she can twist it to be a corkscrew. Yeah. Yeah, what does corkscrew mean? Does it just mean twisting? It's twisting in the air like uh the imagine uh Emperor Palpatine in Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, like where he just leaps across the room. Oh yeah, yeah. She can just fly all over with that head. Yeah, just That's throwing throwing the weight of her head, and initially needs that exhaust pipe that protects her, and then loses it. Thinks can't do it, but she, the chi protects her. It's not the exhaust pipe; it's the chi, the NASCAR chi. It's been her all along. Yeah. Yeah. Who's her NASCAR sponsor? I was just gonna ask that. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I that I thought that would be a fun <laughs> uh head on applied directly to the forehead. Oh yeah. Does that still exist? I'm, I'm I Google. think so. I just don't think they do commercials anymore. Head on. Or do you just not watch TV? It could be that too. I just found a news article about a head on collision. Mm. One dead. Oh, sad. Uh no, that's Mr. Potato Ooh, Head. He- head and shoulders for sure. There's a glass head. Um twenty three dollars if anyone wants that. So it was bought by a company who I don't know if they're still currently making it, but there's this funny, there's this weird, okay, you guys remember the commercials, obviously, right? Yes. Yeah. Survision Inc., which bought the product line, have stated they intended to refocus the infamous advertisements in a, quote, more scientific direction. You, what are you going to do with that? You're just going to repeat shit at me? What are you, what? What? What does hmm. that mean? I don't understand how they're going to focus the... Cu- the advertisements in a more scientific direction, whatever. But yeah, head on, <laughs> definite sponsor, even if they're not still currently producing anything. Um, I said head and head and shoulders. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Because um, I mean, Tylenol, I mean, maybe. You gotta, you gotta care about your your shoulders, because I mean they're taking a lot. So like Mr. Potato Head would be uh, yeah. Hasbro, yeah, but specifically the Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Um, Ty- Tylenol. Else? Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, like Nike or some sports brand could and just uh, have headbands. Mm, Nike headbands. Mm, yeah. Or it specifically or just says Nike headbands. They don't want it. They, no one else. No other part <laughs> of the company is supporting them. Just that one. Just the headband department. Um, hurts car rental because it kind of hurts. What hurts? Oh, and she headbutts you? Yeah, um, it really hurts. It doesn't hurt her. We can't. Yeah, it doesn't hurt her. That is No. Her. Warheads, the candy. Oh, oh yeah, shit. shit! Yeah, that's really also good. potential good name. Ah, uh, damn, it is. Yeah, so uh, enough right there. Like, that's a that's a good sponsor. Who's the main sponsor, though? Do you think? I think head on. Yeah. Right? Apply directly yeah. to head. It's right there on the head. Yeah. It's yeah. Right there on the head. Right there. Yeah, it's on the head. Apply directly to head. Just got to apply, <laughs> apply directly head. Yeah. Head on, put it on your head. Head on, H- head here. Put, put your head, put your head on this. <laughs> hey, hey, head, head here, head what here. What are you doing? Get, get head, get head. the fuck head over here. here. Get on this fucking shit. What are you even doing, head? Head, that's the scientific approach. Head, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, is this how you gonna do me, head? Head, are you too good for your home, head? <laughs> I'm gonna close. I'm putting it away. You don't want it. You don't want it. Fine. No, that's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. I bring head. it out for you. And you don't want it. That's fine. Oh, now you want it, head. 
Mm, no, it's closed. It. Apparently, this is a dog that um, wants to come in and then runs away as soon as you <laughs> open the back door to let it back in. Apparently you stay outside all is. night, Head. That's fine. I got <laughs> Hey, Head. I love you. I'm sorry, Head. It was a long day. You know what they say. The, the boss yells at you and you go home and kick the head. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I've been kicking my head all night. All right, we're beating we're beating a dead head here. Um, yeah, that did it. Yeah, he's dead. Um, that's good sponsors. Um, what would be? Who, what's her drive? <laughs> what, is she, what is she doing? <laughs> what's her NASCAR drive? What, what, like a what, Ford what Fusion, I think, is what they have, or Chevy. Yeah. Uh, did you say a Ford Fusion? Do they? Yeah, wait, look it up. Look at what Ford is. It's a look fucking Ford, Ford NASCAR. Fusion? Oh my god. Um, what is her drive? What is her motivation? Who is she fighting? Who, what's NASCAR's big enemy? Steve Fusion. I'm just going to search NASCAR versus and see what happens. Oh, they switched to the Mustang in February. Or they're going to in February 2019, but it's still a Fusion right now. Formula One, I guess. But Well, not Formula One. But I'm talking NASCAR about the NASCAR car. Enemy. Oh, you know what? You know what's a big rival of NASCAR? Sitting down and not moving. Well, I mean that's all NASCAR is. It's like I mean. Well, they move think... though. No, but I mean they're just sitting in a car. It's, it's whatever. It's not even hard to I do. I do that every day. To left turns, right? You know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but actually, I think the other racing competitor is, um, of course, horses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you think you think NASCAR and then the like the Kentucky Derby are? They're going head to head, and they need to win this war i don't know i really like horses more than it's really hard for me to put nascar as the good guy because i just don't enjoy it i, I don't think watch, anyone enjoys I would, it i would rather watch the kentucky derby well yeah it's only like two minutes long M- mint juleps that, that hey too. drew you could drink a mint julep anytime no i can't it's only it's only during oh, the kentucky derby you can wear Gosh, that big hat sorry, and drink a mint julep know. anytime oh you mean my kentucky derby hat uh excuse me tanner no i can't uh, i guess it is it's right there in the name yeah it's right there God, i'm sorry horses is an option i don't know so wait horses are we saying that's what they're fighting yeah <laughs> uh so <laughs> so this woman is just rode around headbutting fucking horses <laughs> oh that's horrible <laughs> Uh, but horses can be dicks. The horses are, are like I watched a video earlier. Where, well, granted, the person went up and slapped the horse on the ass. Well, and then okay. the horse kicked her in the head. So she kind of had that coming. She probably died. Yeah. No, she walked away like a champ, but still. Oh well. I, oh boy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. What? What? What else would she be fighting? I mean, you've already given her the the most powerful opponent, like probably bit, ever. A, so a like, big, I don't know why you're horse. trying to lump all this on her. Okay, I just wasn't sure if we were sold on horse. I mean, I'm sold on horses. I imagine they're sort of like NASCAR is like a big powerhouse. They they sort of attack in a like just with the raw strength, whereas horses have to be more like they're like nimble and 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 de- like not delicate per se, but like they're they're more like ninjas where they they kind of get mm. in, slash some tires and get out. Oh yeah, ain't no way a NASCAR gonna sneak up on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing NASCAR cars like traveling in herds. <laughs> oh hey hey did you hey look there's a wild NASCAR. Oh hey. look at it it's beautiful. Oh my God it's beautiful. <gasps> they do move in herds. Oh no this oh. one's sick. <laughs> Better check its poop. <laughs> and then she she gets in there and she's like let me stick my head up this exhaust i'll tell you what's up mm. yeah i could get a good uh good look at a steak by shoving my head up a butcher's ass but oh my god I'd rather <laughs> I take the bull's word for it what does he say on accident like that was that was no that. what i said where he's like i could I, I shove my head up a butcher's ass <laughs> yeah it's supposed to be i could get a good look at a steak by sticking my head up a bull's ass but i'd rather take the butcher's, butcher's word, word for, it. for it yeah well, uh, he might screw it up more he might say like you could get a good look at a butcher's a ass at but... a t-bone by sticking your head up a butcher's ass but wouldn't you rather take his word for it uh yeah i don't know what made me think of that but something one of you guys said well we were talking about sticking our head up into yeah anyway man i don't know I gotta watch Never that movie know. again. I used to watch it a ton. 
I'm Conflict. not sure if I'm going to leave that in there because we have not once mentioned what movie it is. Oh, it's Tommy Guy. There. Mm-hmm. No Tommy Boy, sorry. Oh, my God. I uh, mixed up with Tommy Guns from Rocky Five. Oh, it's Jurassic Park, Drew, is what we were talking about. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, so- Tommy Boy does move in hurts. <laughs> <laughs> the 15 different Chris Harleys. Fat guy in a little coat. What did you do? <laughs> okay, I so movie. I think we have a pretty good idea of what she's doing. Yeah, fighting horses. Yep, had by Trying to horses. take down horses. In the great NASCAR horse war. I have a hard time believing she is a hero with that motivation, but all right. Well, I mean, if the horses are evil... If the yeah. horses are evil. There's a oh, the Kentucky Derby's evil. You guys remember when um those horses just fucking knifed that kid? Oh boy, pretty evil. Horses yeah. are terrible people. See, there now they're the bad guys because they knifed that kid. Oh man, I really want to bring back Mr. Ed. I was thinking about that. <laughs> oh shit, it's Mr. Ed. Oh shit. <laughs> Gunshots. Um, can we have you? Hey, do you remember that time you kept trying to do the baby sound? It was a chainsaw every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was that not the right noise? <laughs> Man, which one was that? That was early. Oh, yeah, that was really yeah, early. Yeah, I haven't used the soundboard in in a long... I, I deleted those apps off the my sand, phone. The soundboard came about because of uh, the It was train. a train thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to cut Boy, all this. Boy, I, I, man, I'm glad you guys reminded me about that, though. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't you I fucking mean the, do the it. the train one? No, don't do it. You didn't like the train one? Are you bring, I, you're I liked all of them. Now, aren't you? You didn't like the train one? <laughs> he's, he's definitely <laughs> not stalling. With it? We need to... Uh, we, we, we are everywhere. I also... <laughs> so is Jesus. Wow. Welcome back, Tanner. <laughs> Good to um, have you here. You guys are missing the spiritual part of the show. Oh, hold on. There's a baby in here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hold on. Let me get this fucker out of here. <laughs> this is funny to us. This is not <laughs> funny to anyone listening. <laughs> uh, it's fine. We do this for us. Okay. Sometimes it's, it's good to just it's... have a little, little thing for you. You know? Mm-hmm. What, where do we go now? Should we do a name? Fighting horses, uh, NASCAR headbutting chi. Um, do we go to name? Yeah, I think it might be good. We're forty-seven minutes time. in. Oh shit! What? Yeah, forty-seven. Yeah, let's go on the name. Well, I mean, some of it you're gonna edit out. Yeah, I know. Like right here when I go fart, fart, fart. I'm gonna keep that in. Absolutely. Mm. Um, that's, a, name. that's a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, Nate, what do we do here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's her name? NASCAR. Na- God damn it! Are there more babies in your room? Yeah, name. Name. Uh. Head. Head. Hmm. Yeah. Head. NASCAR head Judy. <laughs> I think headbutt is the thing to go with. Mm, what about so, warhead? Whew. That would be very good if it wasn't yeah. already a candy. Nate and she wasn't. Already. I mean, she's got other sponsors. We can't show favoritism. Mm, what about uh, Potato Head? Okay. Yes. Um, head, head Start. Head, head Start. Ooh. For, forehead. Head Start was started by Lyndon B. Johnson. Head Start also has like racing implications as well. Oh, like she's getting a head start? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Head, head Start apply directly to the forehead. Hey, head. Hey, head. I love <laughs> you. I love you. Come here. Head start. Let's write that down. I think we can still explore a little more, but I think that's that's a good option. Head start. Head on collision. Oh, head on collision. It's a little wordy, though. Huh? I, it is a little yeah. wordy, but it's exactly what she does, which is. Noggin. Na- na- <laughs> noggin flogging. <laughs> Give him a flogging with my noggin. Yeah, get, 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 Here it goes. Here we go. <laughs> skull? Something skull? Head skull. Iron right skull. <laughs> do you guys want maybe some... Do you want me to throw some sound effects in here to like help no. us think? <laughs> I'd be all right that with that. that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is punch <laughs> two. All right. This is punch one. 
Sorry, right. I, 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 I liked, started punching. I liked punch two <laughs> more than punch one. And they were just throwing punches. Could we do a mashup? Hmm. Maybe. Because <clears throat> certainly. What would the two two categories be? Uh, <laughs> a racing thing, and then a head thing. Over. But we've said a lot of heads. I just don't know enough uh, NASCAR terms. Well, the head word is what really dis- worries me. Well, we, let's say we can we can reuse the head word we've already used, but it's going to be random. Mm-hmm. Um, who wants who wants to do it? Um, I think Tanner and I did it last time, so Nate's already in. So Nate and which one of us who did it before that? I can do a head word. Nate, can you come up with a racing one? Um, if you give me just a second, obviously this isn't my like forte. <laughs> so yeah. I'm Any of our trying fortes. to find something. I, apparently, slingshot is a real is a real thing. Isn't that where you yeah. drift behind? That's where you're drafting, and then mm-hmm. you like swing, you sling so we could, around them. We could yeah. have it be headshot. I'm looking at racing terms in, gotcha. in the glossary of motorsport terms. You got one, Nate. Yep. All right, Tanner, count us down. All right. Okay, I'm gonna start at three. Okay. Okay. Let's... All right. Okay. Okay, I'm going. Okay. Okay. All right now. Three. All right. What? Three. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Three, two, one. <laughs> Turbo. Cranium. Wait, what did you say? Me? Yeah. Cranium. Turbo cranium. Turbo cranium. That's actually fucking good. <laughs> oh man. I didn't think that one was going to work out. I didn't either. I didn't know how it would go with uh, cranium. Turbo cranium. It's bold. It's out there. I love it. It's sexy. Is that that girl with that turbo cranium? Yeah. That's yeah, me. it is. Yes, it is. All right, turbo cranium. Turbo cranium. That's good. Another successful mashup. What is, uh, what's, works. what's she look like? Obviously she has, is she wearing the, the, the robes? Oh, maybe. Yeah. And so like with the, all the, the like fire retardant suit that the oh. uh, NASCAR people wear, she just like wears robes now but it's, and somehow it's fire NASCAR allows well. it. Yeah. So yeah, it's resistant. Yeah. I mean, we're not barbarians here. We got some sense of safety. Yeah. We have rules. Um, yeah. And then for a bit, she has that exhaust pipe on there. And yes, the prime, so, um, prime real estate is the actual actual exhaust pipe. For oh, that, yeah, that costs like a billion dollars. Yeah. Now it's probably too much, but you know what I mean. No, it's up there. It's up there. Yeah. Is there a scene where she's about to lose a race, but she flings her head through her windshield so she flies across the finish line first? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Does she crash through the window over the front? <laughs> oh, no. Like through the car in front of her? She could. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a cool image. She's gonna she's gonna lose and then goes, yeah. Absolutely that happens. Perfect. All right. I think we made the perfect hero. I think so too. I think so. Way way to come back strong, Tanner. I, I can see your engagement will not weigh you down. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah. All right. Well, are we are we good then? I think we're good. All right. Well, Tanner, do you remember what you do here? Uh, yeah, we take uh, today's no, headlines. I should. That's my fault. That's on turn me. Turn them into. Oh, we, do, do, we do do that. Yeah. Turn them uh, into uh, advice. Well, no, you're kind of getting. For... There was advice in this episode, I guess. <laughs> that's, we did. We started so, with advice. The rules of engagement. Yeah. That's how we. That's how we did it. All right. Um. Tanner's clearly broken. Nate, can 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 you sum up what we did here? You mean you want me to summarize the hero? Yeah, we haven't done that you, in ages. Why don't you do what Tanner does? Oh, this will be fun. Ooh. Oh, oh, you want me to just to say this week we made? Yeah. This week we made uh, turbo turbo cranium. Is yeah. That right. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Turbo cranium, the heroine who uses her head to headbutt people really really good um at this time as always we'd like to thank brett jacobson who made the art for our podcast um brett actually doesn't have a forehead and (laughs) i don't think he ever will so we all pray for you brett it's a it's a nun head zero (laughs) head (laughs) you've heard of people with a five head this guy he's got a nun head just a zero head just flat zero head um at this time we'd also like to thank carl Sorensen. 
for making the music oh, you heard. Yeah, you're in it now, Tanner. Oh no, he yeah. Carl Sorensen. What did I say? No, no, no well, you, okay. So what happened is, sorry, now I've goofed it all up. Yeah, uh, you said you uh, Carl Sorensen, and Tanner went, "Oh shit!" And I was like, "What? The Carl Sorensen? My God!" <laughs> no, but, that was t- Tanner yeah. realizing he has to end mm-hmm. the episode. Yeah. Um, I, I. You don't have to. I can, I can end it, Tanner, if you I'll want. I'll do it. Shut up. I'm not afraid. All right. Well, we want to thank Carl J. Sorensen, Carl Jasperilla Sorensen, <laughs> for creating the, the music our for our podcast um, that you heard at the beginning. You're about to hear again. We really love it. Um, if you have... Uh, no, it's my turn. I, I, I'm not done, Tanner. Oh, If sorry. you had anything that you... you any musical needs of your, of your own, uh, okay. Carl would be help, happy to help you out. Um, you can get in touch with him at carljsorensen.com. The thing you got to know about Carl is that he's got like a seven head. That thing just goes. It just goes. It keeps going. <laughs> you ever try and find the top of it? I still haven't found it. It's like a flat earther trying to find the edge. Like you can't. <laughs> Surely it must exist, I say, but it it's not there. Mm-hmm. All right. Tanner. How's it me? Good? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you have any articles you'd like uh, to have us discuss on the show, you can uh, get them to us multiple ways. We have our email address, which is headlineheroescast at gmail.com. Um, you can tweet them at us at headline underscore heroes. Um, we have a subreddit, which is what uh, r slash headline heroes, yeah, right? Get there, That's guys. Right. I cannot emphasize enough how bumping that place is. You are. You won't believe out. what happened last week. Holy oh, shit! There man. are multiple posts on that subreddit. And that is not a lie. Um, what else? We have a Facebook page. Yeah. You can just look up Headline Heroes. You'll probably find it. And also, we have a voicemail that you can call into and uh, leave us a voicemail. Mm-hmm. Uh, that number is three one nine five nine six six seven six six. Uh, no one answers it. It's literally just a voicemail, so don't feel awkward like you're going to talk to someone on accident. Uh, and if anyone's listening to us on any sort of app that you can leave us a review on, that would be dope if you did that. Um, am I missing anything, Drew? No, just go ahead and subscribe while you're at it, too. Oh, know, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. And tell a friend. And, yeah, tell a friend because word of mouth is a good thing. Yeah. Hey, so um, we, yeah, we Nate, thank you for I, joining I just have a quick question. Well, well, how well. how should I interact with the subscribe button? Like in oh, what way oh, should uh, I approach oh, it? Oh, you got a head. Smash. Back. Smash that subscribe button. Oh, oh wait, yeah, no, that would make more sense. Head on into that subscribe button. Head smash it. Head smash on. Smash it. Um now can I finish it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, do it. Okay. We thank you for joining us and we hope you'll pick up the next issue of Headline Heroes. Good job, Tanner. Good job. I'm so proud of you, Head. Man, you have to say a lot of shit, Drew. Holy fuck. I know, right? My job's so easy. She's like, we can't shut him up sometimes. (laughs) 